This is the vlog I promised to do if you got the comments up over 1,000 comments, which uh, in fact happened on the post about the vice presidential debate, which I put up last Thursday night. And I just want to say thanks to all the great commenters on the Alt House blog. I like to think my blogging is special, but I really think that the comments section around here is special, and there's some really wonderful characters that I'd like to single out, uh, but I don't have enough time because YouTube will limit me to uh, 10 minutes, and so I'm going to try to keep this a little bit short, but I want you to know that um, I, I read the comments and I select out some things that I think are particularly good or that amuse me in a special way. I will put them on, as you know, I put them on, uh, I front page them, as I like to say, I put them on an update to the post. And whenever I do that, I make a tag out of the commenter's name. So, and then I go back and pick up all the old times I've front page that person in the past. So then you can collect and, and see, um, see the old posts. You won't see the, all the places where they've commented inside the post, but you'll see all the times they've been front paged. And you'll, you'll see we have some pretty cool uh, characters around here. For example, we have uh, the wonderful uh, Trooper York, who I want to give a special uh, thanks to after he responded to my request to write a history of needling, which, you know, I, I don't have time to explain the whole situation, but uh, we were talking about winking after Sarah Palin, he, he oh, okay, he put up one of his posts uh, uh, purporting to extract a quotation from a, a scholarly work, and it was called A Wink and a Nod, The History of the Wink by Wink Martindale. So I, uh, I requested that he do, uh, that maybe he would write a, a history of, the, uh, the, of needling after somebody accused me of acting like I was quoting Andrew Sullivan when I was really only quoting one of his readers, and my response was something along the lines of, I didn't say that he wrote it, I said that he enjoyed needling Rich Lowry. Rich Lowry had written something about Sarah Palin sending starbursts of uh, energy through the TV screen and affecting the minds of all the men around America, which, uh, you know, Sullivan mocked, rightly so, but he kept mocking and remocking. And at some point, I felt like he was just really a little too into needling uh, Rich Lowry. So it was needling him through quoting some email. And anyway, I, I asked for Tripper York to, uh, to write the history of... Uh, to write the history of, of, uh, of needling. And then this morning before I went out to try and get some work done by taking myself out of the house away from the computer and I went to a cafe so I could get some reading done and I put up a post which I like to do to create sort of what they call on other blogs uh, an open thread. I call it a cafe and I, I like to put up a picture, a photograph and named the cafe after something about the photograph, and I called it the Yellow Needle Cafe. It was a picture of some pine needles looking up through the sun, so they looked yellow. Um, a picture I took at the Botanical Gardens yesterday. Oh, by the way, I was at the Botanical Gardens yesterday, and I was looking at this plant that had the, I'll, I'll put up a photograph of it, but it had these really interesting uh, ball-shaped uh, seed pods that had, you know, pointy stickers sticking out of them. I was photographing it, and I checked to see what the name of the plant was. Um, well, it had all of these uh, scientific names, but it also had the um, casual name, uh, Hairy Balls. So then they're photographing this plant, and a man comes up and says, uh, so what did they call that plant? Do you know what they call this? What would you do? I had to say, because I'm not... Uh, it's, it's not really hard for me to lie, but I sort of like to tell the truth. So I had to say, actually, <laughs> it's called hairy balls. Um, that happened. So anyway, um, I put up my uh, Yellow Needle Cafe, and Trooper York very nicely came along and uh, noticed the word needle, remembered that I had requested the history of needling, and wrote another one of his classic posts. Uh, I won't, you'll have to go to it and read the whole thing because actually it would take up too much time if I read it. And also, since I've already said Harry Balls, I really don't want to tell you what uh, Trooper York wrote. You better just read it. Read it silently. Uh, but the name of the scholarly work that he purportedly took this quotation from is Sticking It In, Needling Through the Ages by Don Rickles, Simon & Schuster, 2008. 
So uh, thanks to Trooper York. Thanks to all the great commenters that have come by. Some of them have gone away, and I'd like them to come back. I'd like to send out. I'm talking specifically to Titus, who I know would like to come back. And, you know, this is my engraved invitation to you, Titus, to come back, come back with your um, rare clumbers and whatever. Uh, we miss your stories. Uh, we miss the fun. And I think you miss us, too. So we want you back. Uh, I would also like to send out a special thanks today to um, Blocking Cockroach for, he saw another one of the, you know, Blocking Cockroach stops by from time to time. It's very hard for him to type because, you know, he has to jump on the individual keys of the laptop. It's, it's not easy for an insect to type. And his, uh, the little boy whose computer he gets to use now has one of these uh, air, or his mother has an air, um, Apple laptop, which you know closes up really slim, and he's afraid he's going to get smushed as somebody slams that darn thing shut, and the keys are very short. He has to try to get in between the keys to not get killed, and so he's taking some great risks, and I think the rest of you can take some, some good risks, too. You know, uh, Blocking Cockroach told us that he, you know, he likes to get over by the uh, command key because he, he says it's a flower, looks like a flower, you know, the little design on the command key on a Macintosh. Uh, but, uh, but he came out and he commented because he liked the, the picture yesterday, which a pic it was a picture of some flowers with a, I said it was a butterfly and a bee on it, but, you know, um, somebody corrected me and said, you know, that's, that's not a, butterfly, it's a moth. And I appreciate comments like that, too, because I'd like to say, I'd like to apologize to the moths. I'd like to, in fact, invite more moth commenters or commenters and all sorts of other personas. I like the fictional characters. I don't complain about the sock puppets. I like the creative commenters. You can be what you want to be. Um, and, uh, and, and, I, and if you're a moth or if you're Mothra, I think we need more Japanese monsters. Uh, come by because I apologize to the moths. I apologize to Titus. I apologize to the moths because, in fact, you see a beautiful moth and you call it a butterfly. I mean, it's not really fair to the moths. All the most lovely examples of moths get called butterflies, and, and I don't think that's right. So I invite the moths. I invite other animals, all sorts of animals, and I'd like to say a special thanks to Blogging Cockroach for coming by when he saw that picture of, of insects and he looked longingly at the life of the outdoor insect that lives in the light and he has to live in the darkness. And, and you know, maybe you're cooped up at home and you're, you know, you'd like to go outdoors. I mean, I'd like to go outdoors, but it's, you know, I've got the artificial light here, even though it's, it's, it's you know, it's one o'clock in the afternoon and uh, it's raining here in Madison, Wisconsin. Maybe you can hear the rain on the roof, you know. Sometimes you can uh, go out, go for a walk, go to the botanical gardens, photograph the hairy balls, meet the strangers. But you can also meet strangers here in the, uh, you know, the Yellow Needle Cafe or uh, whatever, whatever uh, talking place uh, we've set up on a particular day. And uh, we'd like to hear from you. We'd love to hear from you. And uh, I'd love to just, once again, Thank all the many cool commenters. A special thanks to Ruth Ann for needling me about doing the blog uh, and calling attention to the fact that I owed, uh, owed this uh, blog and also for many wonderful punning uh, uh, comments over the years. And, and you know, if I, ever, if I ever get a dog, I'm going to name him P. Gordon Pidley. So thanks again.